So we're just going to draw the eye right now. And there we are. Completed eye. Subscribe. Oh, oh, look at my, look at my terrible handwriting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello and welcome to our first little tutorial here. Right now we're going to be learning how to draw an eye. Um, it's really important to try to understand the basic life study, the parts of the eye, and then the different types of eyes you might get. And we're going to go through this kind of slowly. I'm going to make this into parts. Uh, right now we're just going to be doing the sketch to try to see how we can draw the eye the easiest way. I am not an expert. I am a new artist. If you don't like the fact that I'm telling people how to draw art, good for you. You're free to leave. Um, people are just asking me how I draw my eyes specifically. So I want to give them the tips that they have asked for. Okay? So just putting that out of the way now. If you're bothered by it, that's on you. Alright. So what we're going to do real quick here is I just want you guys to pay attention to the examples I have right here so let's let's do that so first we want to make sure that we are drawing from life we want to understand the basics and see it in real life it's a lot easier to understand when people simplify like with anime styles when they're doing their eyes like this that and this what they're simplifying because this is simplified uh, that's the reason why anime can come off though it seems a bit easier it's actually a bit difficult to come up with your own poses and with your own styles and things because the people who are making these styles and drawing this anime already understand the real anatomy and how it looks in life and they've drawn so much already that they already know what they're doing they're just simplifying it making it easier for themselves so we want to make sure we have that down. Um, I also, because I just saw somebody's video <laughs> where they thought this part right here was the eyebrow, not not the eyelash. Somehow I don't I don't know how, but somehow. So right here, it's just a very simplified eye. We want to be able to understand the parts of the eye. I don't remember all this stuff by name, so if you don't, that should be fine too. Like. It's not, that, it's not that big of a deal, but try to memorize the parts of the eye if you can, and then the different types. So this is something I've recently been working on, but did you know there was different types of eyes, uh, especially shape-wise, pretty much? They all kind of all have the almond shape, really, but they're all kind of, what do you want to say, uh, change version. So this is kind of like the almond type over here, but you know it goes up a little bit instead versus just being straight and leveled. But usually, typically, whenever I see anybody do advice for this stuff, it's usually this shape. And then you can kind of go into this, which is nice to know. So, you know, do some Google research, you know, get your little references whenever you draw. It's not, there's no cheating in using a reference. Um, if you're completely copying the, you know, artwork, then, you know, don't try to monetize on it. But there's no cheating in using a reference. If that was cheating, then using a ruler would be cheating. I don't remember whose video I saw that in, but it was a very good argument. <laughs> a good artist should be able to draw without a ruler. You should just know the inches. Some really silly arguments for art. So we're just going to get started and try to draw the outline of the eye. All right, so we just want to get the outside of the eyelid. We're going to make this more realistic, and then I'll try to stylize it maybe a little bit in a second. So we're just going to go up here. Uh, so let me try to show you the shape I try to make when I draw eyes. That'd probably be a better start. You want something like this. Possibly. So we want it within this shape. Alright. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I got this from an art germ video. We want it in this shape. We, will, we don't need it to touch the edges here. 
So let me turn that like a smidge down. Let me erase a little bit of it. Yeah, that way we can get different. I'll just change the color too. Okay, so we have that little. If anybody remembers the name of the shape, please tell me. My brain keeps saying trapezoid, and I know that's not right. It's par parallelogram, something like that. It's big words. You tripped me up already. It's the morning. I'm, <laughs> I'm not awake for this. All right. So we want to make sure that we use. Okay, just don't work on me then. We want to make sure that we use our pair our box. We're just gonna say a box. Using our box, and drawing within it. So the top of the eye should hit somewhere in here right here and it should come back down try to round this out a bit more come back down this way and hit the edge over here strengthen that up a little bit probably have to erase a little bit and then go down this way this should be the edge of the eye so right here, what? So here's a little thing that people always do. We're gonna be drawing the inside, kind of the eyelash. Let me try to let me try to explain myself. So right here, that's not where we put the eyelashes. If you look here in the eye, you see this little piece of skin. There, I guess we can do it on this one. Little piece of skin right here. Before we get to the eyelashes, what I like to do is keep this separate. So you might be seeing it now. So when we do this, it has part of the eye. It's separated right here. So here's the big eyelash, put the eyelashes here, that's what you normally do. And then I'd put the eyelashes here instead. I don't know if I'd have it that distant, I'd probably make it a little bit closer. Um, but that's just from a style and everything. But right here we have that open space, and the eyelashes aren't connected to the eyeball. This is, that's like a common thing as well. That's probably mostly because of all the anime influence. For a lot of people does that. So we're just gonna finish this part out here. Top of the eyelash and the bottom. This way. And there we are. Eyelash. Now the thing here, um, depending on who you're trying to draw, if you're trying to draw a male. Um, then you just don't really have to do much from the stage. You can just kind of leave the eye how it is. Unless you want him to have longer lashes. It's kind of up to you. I have longer lashes. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of what you're going with. Um, but usually, if you want to make an eye more feminine looking, from here, we might strengthen the eyelash. That's what I usually would do. Strengthen the eyelash. And then you can just add the eyelashes. So with this, what I like to do when you do eyelashes, I don't like to do it individually like this. Which I mean, I guess you could, but it might make it a little, look a little bit funny. Uh, when you try to do it straight like that, you kind of want to dip in and dip out. It gives the illusion of a 3D space right here when you do that. But for what I do, I usually just add it on the ends. Like that. just. On the ends. I usually try to strengthen it towards the bottom here. A little bit easier. Maybe a few right here. Sorry guys, I'm getting updates on Instagram. Which if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to do so. And then right now we pretty much have an eye already done. Hopefully that wasn't too fast for you guys. <laughs> so that's just the simple thing that you can do. So you just draw the little square, draw the little box, um, the the tilted box. Make sure to get to the sides over here, to the top. So one in the middle here, one on sort of in the middle here, one in the middle here, and one in here. Just want that general shape. Make sure that we're keeping it in there. And then everything else is just kind of going with it. Honestly, it's not too crazy. Hoping I'm actually explaining this, not doing one of those drawing tutorials where they're like, "All right, and now we're done." Um, step one. <laughs> I hope you guys are paying attention. That was the worst. You, you never realize anything from it. So I just put the pupil in the middle. You know, just keeping that simple. And then we'll have the outside of the eyelid right here, part of the top lid. Just draw that right here. And 
there you go that's simple eye here eyebrows you can do like in lines it always makes it a little look a little nicer a little bit more realistic when you do lines like this kind of keep them together there's a pattern to it but since we're not on the eyebrows right now I'm not gonna go crazy on it and sometimes you know you can just draw simple eyebrows like a couple of lines that or something. That for eyebrow. So there we are with that. Now we're going to try to make one for our own sketch. So I'm not going to be really using that. Now just remember you can change the way this looks by sort of going with different molds here. So if you were really trying to emphasize an upturned eye, then you might do something like this where these two parts. Oh, let me. These two parts are usually pretty even right here. The end of the eye here and the end of the eye here. They're usually pretty even, but this one's a bit up. Um, so for an upturned eye, you would make sure that they're not so much in a way. They'd be a bit higher here. I wish I could sketch that better real quick, but <laughs> I, I think you guys get the point. I think you do. Something, something like this. It's a lot higher here. Lash, and then it gives the eye a different look. Uh, and a lot of people I see with the same face syndrome, and I might have it too. So if I do, um, just let me keep talking. Because if I don't, <laughs> the issue for them is I don't usually see them change eyes too much. They kind of look similar in ways. Um, some other things with noses as well, but I'm working on noses myself, so I'm not going to talk, you know, I'm not going to talk big smack about things I'm not good with. Hashtag, uh, no big smack. But the eyes look a bit different, as you can see here. And that's what we want. We want a smidge of difference. Okay, maybe they look a bit similar. <laughs> maybe that wasn't my best example, but you get my point, okay? If you change the eyeballs, if you change the direction that they end in, so if you do it like this, like this lady's eyes, the down turned, turnt, um, the almonds just kind of more like this, rounded, just be a bit more round, kind of looks like the downturn, but at the same time, this part's a bit higher up in the front. You can change the look of the eye and the style that you have it. So usually what I would normally do is I would get the realistic eye like this and then I would have whatever character I'm drawing I would try to mimic their eye style but make it a little bit more realistic so let me try to just sketch out an eye like I would and not try to be too distracted by the sides so usually I try to make this as thin as possible here I really want the eyelashes to show it. And you can go over the eyelash part second, you know, it doesn't have to be too crazy, you just kind of want the shape first. But drawing on a tutorial is always weirder than just drawing <laughs> in general. That eyeball over here. And you can you can follow along if you'd like, but you know, just use a tilted square we had out there. But I cannot pronounce that word. I'm really mad. So it goes kind of up here. You can still see it here. Up. Sideways. Uh, vertical again. And then I guess it'd be like here-ish. So it's still in there. You're still, you're still in there. Or if it helps you out, do like a ball here. Like the eyeball and put the lashes in there so you can kind of see the eyeball within it's a bit on the side but you get what I mean and then just add this little tip to it whatever helps you out whichever way helps you draw you should just keep up as long as it's not like hindering you and there's not a lot of things that can really hinder you in art there's a lot of con like arguments that are always contrary people are always like oh no um, if you're tracing that's bad for you but then like a lot of people are like oh tracing will help you learn so try not to panic too much about how you're doing it as long as you're learning how to do it without it 
So just take away, so like take away your help. If you need the ruler all the time, try it without the ruler, and then go back to it, try it without the ruler, and go back to it, and then compare on what you're doing. That always helps. It's comparison. So we have the eye pretty much here. My sketching is like atrocious for some reason now. <laughs> I lost the ability to draw the moment I started the tutorial. And the ability to speak English. Not that. Something here. The eyelashes. Eyelash again. Um, I don't like the way that this bottom ones look. There we go. Get rid of this part. I don't like the way this one looks. Also, if you're wondering what program we're on, this is Medibang. It's probably going to be in the title, but just in case, Medibang. Medibang Pro. Okay. So now we have the eyeball I wanted. And then, like I said, I might boost the eyelashes, but I don't think I really need to with this. Uh, just keep that nice and smooth. Now we have our eye. If you want a quick look at it, go ahead. I want to pause it right now if you want to try to draw like the exact same eye. Alright. So we have the eyelid here. Um, you can always simplify this. I don't really try to emphasize it too much. I might keep the lines a little broken up. Always just adds a nice touch to show that it's there, but it's not completely like just a line in the middle. And then let me do the eyebrows here. It's funny, I kind of drew the eye we already drew before. <laughs> let me shoot. But more stylized. Hopefully, I'm not hiding behind the this is my style cliche. I really hope not. And then here we are. Draw the eye a little low. And honestly, with this part, if you are having trouble drawing the people, first of all, just practice drawing circles. Do that the little circle every time. Just keep doing that. But it should be really simple, or if you're kind of lazy, you can always just use a circle tool. Like, no one's going to know. <laughs> you can erase the lines a little bit to make it a little, look a little bit more realistic, like this. Just you like to cut the edges a little bit so it looks like you drew it a bit. I don't know. Something like this. So that way it's not like the same consistent circle there people are like, oh man, you just use a circle tool. I can't believe you. <laughs> you horrible traitor to art. <laughs> How dare you use the circle tool. Then we just put the pupil there. And now we have an eyeball. So great. So now I'm going to render it in a second. Be sure to check that out in part two. And thanks for watching. I'm going to have the part two up soon if you guys like this. Um, if there's anything else you want me to kind of show you how to draw, or at least how I draw it, be sure to leave it in the comments. You know, let me know. I'm not omnipresent. So <laughs> I guess this is kind of the first time for some of you guys to hear my voice. I really appreciate you guys following. Be sure to subscribe for more. That way you can be updated when I do the part two. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Also, remember, uh, using rulers and everything is cheating.